The video you're about to watch will demonstrate search strategies you can use to locate digital archives on the public web. You can reach this goal by following three main steps. But before getting started, the term digital archives can have different meanings. For our purposes, a digital archive is a collection of primary source materials, such as documents, sound recordings, or images, available over the public web and intended to serve educational or research purposes. But locating digital archives is difficult due to the large amount of unreliable materials on the internet. An effective way to locate reliable digital archives is to search within specific areas or domains of the public web, which brings you to step one. Identify and retrieve domains related to your topic. This step is important because it will narrow your search base. Domains are hierarchies of the internet organized in different levels. Top level domains form the basic foundation of the public web and are arranged in three large chunks. Country code, such as .us or .uk, generic, such as .com or .org, and sponsored, such as .gov and .edu. Because they comply with descriptive and professional standards, top level domains such as .edu, .gov, and .org provide generally more reliable digital archives than .com or .info. Second level domains vary depending on their top level domain, but they can narrow your search base even more. For instance, the second level domain for British universities is .ac.uk, and the second level domain for Spanish government agencies is .gob.es. For an up-to-date and complete listing of top-level domains, visit the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority database at www.iana.org or see the Wikipedia entry List of Internet Top-Level Domains. You can find second-level domains listed on the Wikipedia page of the respective top-level domain. Once you've identified and retrieved domains related to your topic, it's time for step two, which is to search domains with common phrases for digital archives. These phrases may include, but are not limited to any combination of the following, digital, digitized, collections, library, archives. Let's do a short demonstration. Using Google, I can search domains with the word site, followed by a colon, and the domain, leaving no spaces. So if I type, site colon dot org digital archives into my search box i would then be presented with large quantities of digital archival materials that relate to many different topics but only those that are stored in these areas large institutions such as the u.s national archives the new york public library or the smithsonian will host many of these portals i could easily select the first or second result and be satisfied with my search I could also, however, move on to step three, which is to combine domains, common phrases, and keywords into one search. This is a very targeted query that should focus on particular subjects and formats of digital archives that one can find on the public web. So if my topic is American slavery, I can input site colon dot edu digital library American slavery and be presented with many high quality search results. But if I'm interested in American immigration, I can try site colon dot org digital archives American immigration and see vast resources that document a range of American experiences. But beware, if you want to search non-English speaking domains such as dot fr or dot es, you have to enter your search queries in the respective language. A recap. To locate digital archives on the public web, start by identifying domains or areas related to your topic. Then, conduct domain-specific searches with common phrases for digital archives. Finally, add keywords to these common phrases and specific domain searches to produce a targeted subset of results.